Hello everybody, my name is Kiwi and welcome to Love Triangle, a dating sim for Gravity Falls, but I think it's just uh, Bill Cipher, <laughs> which I love the, the Gravity Falls music. Oh, we're starting now. Okay. This game is rated T for teens and contains mild language and adult themes such as use of alcohol. Player discretion advised. Oh, it's so pretty. It was a warm July evening. The sun was just barely up, giving the pine trees around you a pinkish glow to them. After a long trip, you guzzle some water and wipe some sweat from your brow. You were in Oregon, the place where the infamous Bill Cipher statue was. And for the first time in your life, you're going to see him in person. As you trot up the path that lay deep in the pine wood, you notice a small gray hand sticking out from the bushes. Curious, you decide to take a closer look. It was him. His statue laid there motionless, his body somewhat cracked and patched with growing moss, his limbs mostly gone, all except for the hand that he shook with Ford. And his eye, probably as big as your head, it would seem, was all there. You searched around for a bit, seeing if the treasure chest was taken, or if, or even if, if it was there at all. After all, you were the first to find him. After you found the treasure and the fake, seemingly meaningless gold coins, you stare at the statue and wonder what to do next. You received a fake gold coin in your bag. <laughs> you end up taking pictures with the statue, like any modern day person would. Afterwards, you stare at his thin, small hand. Before the hunt for the statue started, you remember the rules said specifically not to shake the hand. Still, you can't help but wonder what would happen if you do. Shake his hand? Yes, definitely, absolutely. That's a reference, but absolutely. You decided, as if you had any other choice, to shake the hand. Within an instant, the statue changed before your eyes, from a dull gray to a shiny yellow gold. Too shiny, in fact, that you sort of had to shield your eyes. Uh, well, I didn't finish. Shield your eyes from the sun gleam reflecting from it. His form had changed back to the way he was in the show. Bow tie and hat. His, oh, top hat. Bow tie, top hat, his arms and legs, and most importantly, his big, somewhat cat-like eye was all shown before you. When the transformation was finally done, he floated close to the ground, wide-eyed, and he seemed frightened. It hardly seemed like he knew you were there. Ha. Ha ha. Ha I'm alive. Holy heck, I actually survived that punch. He stared at his hands, shaking from excitement until you backed away a bit and stepped on a small branch while doing so. Classic. He flinched, now coming into realization that he wasn't alone. Uh. Ha. He stared through you, shocked and a bit scared. He waved his hand around to see how you'd react. He noticed your eye follow his hand. Huh. So you can see me, huh? He mumbled to himself, his hands somewhat shaky. I guess I'm still in my physical form, even after all that mess. The demon blinks a few times, puffs up his chest, and straightens his bow tie and speaks up. Well, kid, you sure took your sweet time, but I'm glad you found me. Feels like I've been stuck here for ages. He turns around and starts to float away, waving at you with one hand. Anyway, later, sucker! When you both turn and look at your wrists, a faint glow of what looks like a transparent chain binds you two. Hey, wait, a chain? How in the world did that get there? Bill, now seeing, seeming to once again lose his composure, starts to frantically try to free himself from the chain. No. I love the music in this game. No, 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 no! I don't- I can't do his voice. I spent years stuck in a stupid rock and now this? As the de dream demon panicked, he stood there and wondered what to do. What do you do now? Well, we save, obviously. Try to calm him down, I guess. You decided to try, to try and calm him down. He stopped trying to free himself from the chains and looked at you like you were nuts. Calm down? Calm down? Do you have any idea what this chain means, kid? He held up the chain as if he was playing bizarre versions of show and, a bizarre version of show and tell. This means we're soul bound. It means I'm stuck with you for life. He dropped the chain and with a sigh, he said she needs to live. Thanks anyway for trying, kiddo. 
Well, since I'm stuck with you, I might as well get to know ya. What's your name, anyway? Oh. Also, what do you go by? You're a guy? A gal? Non-binary pal? What? I'm she, her. So you're a girl, huh? Understandable. Thanks for not, like, assuming. So tell me, Kiwi the Demon Destroyer. <laughs> what brought you up here in the first place? How'd you even know I was here? Well, you see, what had happened was, um... It's really strong. Um, you stood there quiet for a moment. How do you tell someone you saved them because you knew them from a show? As it was, this whole scenario was too surreal to even believe it was happening. But bizarre as it was, it was happening. As you stared off into space, Bill started rummaging through your things and took out your purchased copy of the journal. It's still in good shape, and even has its store-bought cover still on it. Ho ho ho, what have we? Huh? Why do you have a copy of Fordsy's old journal? And why does it look... new? It's clear that he has no idea where he is, or the... or the fact of his existence to you. He's gonna learn everything eventually anyway, but after the events so far, and two mental breakdowns, you're not really sure if he can take more surprising news right now. Well, what do you do now? Lie to him and distract him with a compliment. I will tell him what's up. You decided to tell him the origins of the book, who wrote it, and why you know of the bill of bill in the first place. He floats there, still staring strangely at you. So you're telling me that you nod. That I came from a show. You nod once more. That a man with a silly goatee and a love of plaid made? And he made this stupid replica of that diary also? You nod for a third time. He seems to look at you like you came from a mental ward. Ha ha, very funny. So funny, in fact, that I almost believe you. If that was true, why the heck is my statue here, huh? As he said that, he tossed you the book and tagged the chain. And tugged the chain as if you were a dog on his leash. Anyway, what's the holdup, kiddo? Are we gonna stand here in a forest until dark, or are we gonna get a move on? I guess we're gonna get a move on. As the twilight fades into a starry night, you notice that the events you're experiencing right now can't be undone. You didn't really expect to be even out here for this long. But given the current events, it's not like there was anything you could do about it. I guess that is fair. You've noticed that Bill... The very being you're chained to looks doubtful on the situation both of you are in. Even if he's a psychotic dream demon and you've known him throughout the show, you realize that he may, you may need to get to know the real him to gain his trust. You start putting up some options. I thought I didn't have the option to save for a minute. Uh, let's get moving then. How is he? Constellations. I love at constellations. You try to keep Bill entertained by asking him what constellations are up tonight. The demon rolls his eyes for a moment before you mention something about seeing the summer triangle. He glances at you for a moment before turning his gaze upward. Oh, you mean that? That's formed by Altair, Deneb, and Vega. They also happen to be the brightest stars in the three constellations of Aquila, Cygnus, and Lyra, respectively. He seems to be interested in this on the subject despite that you've just looked this up on the internet. Thanking you. By the way, just because it's a triangle doesn't mean that it's gonna impress me more. You must have looked that up, didn't you? After a small moment, you let an odd and awkward, awkward cough. <laughs> well, seems like any hopes of wooing him went down the drain. You try to think about something else that might work. Bill if he would like to get some grub, or at least eat something f just for the sake of travel. Bill rolled his eye. Oh wow, human food, I'd love to. Not. Well, that didn't work. What else? Uh, how are you? You tried to ask the triangle how he is to, I don't know, give him some sort of comfort, I guess. He replies with a skeptical, skeptical sort of look. What's it look like? I'm chained to a lifetime of misery, thanks to you. Doesn't look too good, now does it? Probably not the best time to bother him about the uh, situation. Alright, let's get it moving then. 
Seeing as how no other option was useful in the slightest, you asked him that maybe it would be a good, better idea to get out of the woods. Yeah, yeah, seems like the only good plan on your head can come up with. Come on, this way. And soon, he leads the way to somewhere. At this point, the sun had almost set completely, leaving them walking in the dark almost. Plus, God, the forest was so incredibly thick it was hard to walk through it all. Well, hard for you anyway, not for Bill. He, on the other hand, was completely facing through everything that touched him. Everything, of course, except for the chains binding you two. It was strange. Somehow, you two were really chained together, and yet there really was no feeling to it at all. Like it was some sort of hologram. As he led the way, he was so busy, distracted, and thought, when suddenly, you slipped over the edge of gravel below you. Right into a not-so-conveniently placed hole. Bill, reluctantly, is pulled and folds with you. Heh, hey! hey. Can you be the demon's destroyer? Watch out! After the initial shock of falling, the demon flusters as he tries to yank the chain up, but sadly was unsuccessful. Gah, why won't you move? Oh? Bill, frustrated that all he could do was be pulled down by you, reluctantly was dragged down into what seemed like an endless hole. The bottomless pit. That ends up, you know, eventually shooting them back out. There was a good minute of yelling, mostly on by your part and partially by Bill's, before the initial shock passed, passed and your throat grew sore. Guess you were going to be there for a while. You and Bill floated in the darkness, and after a good few minutes, you calmed down some. After a bit of adjusting, the fall became easier to get used to. The demon in front of you, of course, floated with ease, since he was so used to floating already. What? From his expression, you could easily tell he was aggravated. You okay? Bill blinks slowly at the question, looking at you foolishly. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly dandy. I mean, we're stuck together for less than an hour, and somehow you've managed to make us fall into a hole. Which, thanks to- thanks for that. Which, thanks for that, by the way. I'm so grateful. He scoffs as you float there in silence. Technically, what all had happened wasn't really your fault, yet you couldn't help but feel he was blaming you for everything. Guess you really should have been more careful. Before either of you could speak another word, a small light illuminated below. The small circle of white growing bigger and bigger as you fell. Within moments, you remembered that you were still falling, that there was a strong possibility that there will be a cold, hard ground you'll meet at the end of it. You insti your instinctive reaction was to close your eyes, hold your head, and scream as you fell for the inevitable. Immediately, you tugged the chain until you could grab onto him. He was a demon and could probably survive the fall, but it was always better safe than sorry. Plus, you were pretty terrified and needed to grab onto something. Screams filled the dark hole as you both fell closer and closer to your doom. Let's hope either of you could survive this. The end. We'll laugh at him. That was amusing, seeing him get out of one mind to find himself like in another so he can have a trickle. He stopped trying to free himself from the chains and snapped. What? Is this funny to you? You think this is a joke? Heh, you know this chain's mean, right? This is a little different. He's just he dropped the chain and had the most sinister look on his face, which seemed pretty difficult to tell since all he had on it was an eye. I can make you your life a living nightmare, or I can be your best friend. Your choice. He floated up next to you and leaned his arm on your shoulder. He still seemed cocky, and the more you were around him, the more you felt on the We'll lie to him and distract him with the compliment. You told the demon how much of a cutie he was, and how you never heard of this forest he mentioned. Bill scribbled the book of since but his expression doesn't change. You just had to, didn't you? Real funny, kid. I'll let us lie for now. But I know something's up. As he said, I like to go to the show, you know, the There. For a bit, you stay quiet. Maybe talking to him might make him feel worse, especially since you were the entire reason why you two were falling down in the hole in the first place. You both floated there, staring somewhere, staring elsewhere in silence. Every now and again, you two would steal glances at each other in the long duration of silence. How long had you been two floating down here? It felt like hours. It was awkward. And still the end. Okay, well, um... I guess I have no choice but to end that episode here, so, um... Well, episode, it's gonna be the last part. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
I'm gonna stop doing that winky thing. Bye. I love you. I did it again. Everything changes.